FRX is an excellent financial reporting tool. With it, I can use a reporting wizard to easily create P&L statements and also balance sheets. So let's take a look at it. In FRX, I'm going to start the report wizard by clicking on this icon here. This is going to walk me through the steps that I need to create my first report. There are a number of different types of reports I could select. I'm going to use a balance sheet. I'll hit next. Next thing I want to do is assign all the GL accounts to report sections within the report. That's easy to do. I could do it account by account here, which I can do is select a range of accounts and put those into this report section. Then all I need to do is define the other report sections. One thing that you'll need to do in balance sheets is to have a net income line in your equity section. You'll have to include all the P&L accounts into that section. So I'm going to do that now. Select all those, add that, and hit next. Here I have an opportunity to edit my report. I can change the labels. I can also change the sort order on that. But I'm going to accept the default, go to next. Here's a preview of that report. I'll hit next. Then I can choose a structure. I can report on the entire company or segment based on the segments in my chart of accounts. In my system, I have three segments. I have a main segment, and then I have these two. If I wanted to report based on a hierarchy tree, based on these two segments, I could do that. But I'm going to report on the entire company, so I'll select that and hit Next. I'm going to name the report here. And also select a year, because I'm going to print this report as soon as I save it. My demo data is in 2017. I'm going to use that year, hit Next. These are all my setups. I'm ready to go, so I'm going to hit Finish. It's going to create the report for me and display it in the FRX drill down viewer. So let's take a look at it. There's some work that I can do on this. I can get rid of these rows that report nothing. That's easy to do. You can see the different report sections that I defined earlier in the wizard. So right now I have a standard report, something to start with. So let's take a look at the components. There's really three components in FRX. There's the row format that specifies row by row what will be on each row. It also has a link to the general ledger. I have a column layout which specifies the period of time that I'm reporting on. It also includes whether I want to include a budget or not or actual dollars. There's some calculations I can do in there as well. And then a reporting tree which looks at the hierarchy in my business. So what I want to do is I'm going to go to the catalog of reports and we'll look at the report that we just created. That one's here. Let's open it up. If I want to, I can look at the row format. I'll click on this icon up here, open that row format. And here you can see each row. You can see the labels on that row. And you can see the connection, the link to the general ledger. Also, let's take a look at the column layout. Here again, I'm specifying the period of time. I'm just going to use a year to date and just my actual dollars. If I wanted budgets in there, I could have budget columns as well. This report does not have a reporting tree. I'm reporting an entire company. There's some simple formatting I could do just to make this report look a little better. One thing I want to do is not display rows without amounts. So I can unselect that here. Let's just generate it and see what it looks like. Here's the report, and you can see that I took out the lines that showed no amounts. So this is my basic report, and it was very easy to get to this point. And now if you want to enhance this, you can go into the row format and change these rows. You can summarize rows if you want to. You can add new levels of summary, and it's relatively easy to do. And now you've got a good start on your profit and loss statements and also your balance sheets. Once you get familiar with FRX, you'll find an easy tool to use. It looks directly at the general ledger. It can look at unlimited number of budgets. and It's a relatively easy tool to use, and you'll like the financial reports.